All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's Halloween, and I'm dressed up like a catfisherman. Today's video is titled, Don't Be Chicken to Use Chicken. And after some uh, recent experiences on previous videos that I've had with chicken, I'm definitely not chicken to use chicken. I realize this is the third video about chicken in a row. But an old guy by the name of Dieter Melhorn set the benchmark by putting out 30 bait videos in a month's time. So I figured I'm going to have my time and put out at least three or four, maybe a little more. And the idea is I want to make a better bait video than he made, only do it out of this little 17-foot boat and with a $200 camera using just two rods. We got the skipjack, about three-quarter of it. Introducing the whole chicken breast. It's uh, about an hour and a half before dark. And to be honest with you, I hope I get something before dark because tonight is a full moon. I don't do that great on a full moon. So I'm hoping I can knock this out early. If not, I may have to set the lights up. In my first chicken video, you heard a loud pop when a 40 pounder hit, and that was this rod holder. He broke one side loose. Well, this other side was still attached. And then I made the other chicken video at the Fort Loudon Dam, and my boat kind of got spun around. I was fixing to pull anchor and move, and I had the camera off. And all of a sudden, uh, I seen the rod bend down hard towards the front of the boat. And I heard a loud pop and everything come loose and I barely got my rod. It was about a 25 pound fish, but in that heavy current, that really gave him the momentum to finish breaking this off. So that's why I'm down to just two rods. Otherwise, I might use as much as three or four. I'm not going to have 15 out the back of the boat like a lot of these guys do. Too much of a mess and tangling for me. Get the old famous green jacket on. Skipjack on the left. Chicken breast on the right, that's the way I'm going to run them the rest of the night if I have to stay that long. Big baits. That's the chicken. That's the chicken. That's the chicken. No hookup. Wasn't big enough, but you've seen which one got bit first. I'm going to have me a cup of coffee and enjoy my anchor down position right here on the lovely Tennessee River. Chicken's done been hit twice. Skipjack ain't had a look. Now I ain't never heard about chicken when I was reading the big catfish books. This wind is starting to pick up. Uh, I didn't want to fish tomorrow because it's supposed to be like a 25 mile an hour sustained wind. It looks like it's starting to creep in here tonight. I hope it don't get much worse. Uh, I tried to fish last night and got run out by the wind. It was ridiculous. I did catch some fish last night on chicken. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm running out of daylight. It is a full moon. I don't have a rod holder for this, but I could throw a piece of chicken on it and just lay it in the back of the boat and leave it on clicker. So that's what I'm going to do. Never know until you throw. Maybe that one on the clicker will be the one that goes. Time for some cat fisherman's dinner. These old lunchable things, man. You gotta buy like 45 of them to make a meal. Meanwhile, I got some dink over there picking at my chicken. At least they did put a couple chocolate chip cookies in there because it's the only way you're going to get your blood sugar up at all after eating what little bit they put in that thing.
I see why they say cookies are bad for your teeth. These are like chewing bricks. We've been in this hole a good hour. So far the bite is sour. Now something I rarely do, but I may do tonight, considering it's been a slow bite, is head over there to the right on an inside bend. When hard flowing water is the trend, an inside bend can be your friend. It's a little slacker over there. Once I seen what little bit of food came out of that Lunchable, I wondered why it weighed so much. And then I looked deeper into the box and realized they give you a drink. That way when you pick the box up, you actually think there's some food in there. But in reality, all the weight is in some sugary liquid. There was almost enough in there to make me have to pee sometime later tonight. Well, I've had enough of this. Let's hit spot number two. I broke another zip tie on my anchor getting loose over there. But I'll tell you what, if this anchor didn't have that feature, I done lost it about 25 times in the last two trips. Obviously going to be here past dark, so... things you got to do to put out the best bait videos on YouTube. We anchored over 37 foot. All that over there is 50 and 60. Water temp 65 degrees. Lots of flow. The only trouble is that dag blasted moon. Got something small picking at my chicken. Right there on the right. First bite. Ain't been here two minutes. I don't think it's big enough to set the hook on it though. If it was, I'd pull it in and get the skunk out of the boat. Getting small bites on both the chicken rods. Skipjack hasn't been touched. That's a whole filet. I'm not gonna hook that fish. He's just not big enough. But either way, when a fish gets around it, they obviously can't resist it. Now we just need something bigger to swim up through here. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying. Trying hard. Go ahead and get the cool weather gear on. It's gonna drop down pretty cold tonight with a breeze. I believe I'm getting a bite on the skipjack. Small fish. I'm going to go ahead and put my Daniel Boone cap on now because I know I'm going to be doing it later and there ain't no sense in getting cold first. I figured it'd be an after dark thing. It usually is. Winner, winner, 
chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chicken dinner, chicken dinner. Stay on there. Man, how did that fish not stay on there? Was that a big gar? That's a circle hook. It was loaded up like a Mack truck. I thought for sure that was my video right there. There's that dag blasted moon. You can see it. That's what'll ruin the night right there. I'm wondering if that was a big old gar. Dag blasted. The takedown of the night and didn't get to feel no fight. I got up to reel the thing in and the fish went out of sight. It was there though. Man, I don't know if this is gonna be a good bait video or not. Either way, the biggest takedown of the night came on chicken. Can't deny it, it's right here on video. Woo! Big fish. There goes the chicken. 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 Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. I must be in a pile of gar. Dag, blast it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's on the skin. Of course, they feel a lot bigger in this current, but it don't feel like no dink. I see it, it ain't that big, it's just hard to get in in this current.
Well, he ain't no world record. But on a full moon, I guess I'll take it. All right, people, that moon's getting higher in the sky. And the higher it gets, the least my chances get of getting a catfish in this video on a piece of chicken. Now that's a problem because the title of this video is Don't Be Chicken to Use Chicken. Had a good takedown on it, didn't hook up. So I'm going to pull up here. We're going to try outside of a creek and go with spot number three. I need a video for me on this Halloween night. I need to get a bite on that dag blasted chicken. It's Halloween and I'm even dressed up like a cat fisherman, so let's pull up spot number three. We'll give this spot number three a try. I'm anchored in front of a creek. Maybe we'll get some action coming and going out of here. I really need a fish on this chicken, so I'm gonna up the odds and throw out a third rod just so I get hooked up because I've gotten lots of bites on it just ain't been nothing big enough to get all that in its mouth tonight so I'm gonna go with a little smaller bait more like a Dieter Millhorn size bait and see if I can at least get a blue cat in the boat on this dag blasted chicken Leave that one on the clicker. I may finish the night out with it on all three rods, but I'd like to leave that big skipjack head out there for a while. Come on, chicken. 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 You can do it, chicken. You can do it, chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chicken on the hook. Little smaller than the one on Skipjack, but it's catfish on chicken. Oh, oh, there goes the Skipjack. He's pulling drag. He's pulling drag. That fish is pulling drag. I gotta get my net ready. This is on the skip 
Jack Head. That's why I wanted to leave that head out there. a lot bigger in this heavy current, but I'm pretty sure this will be the biggest one of the night. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest one of the night. I do believe that's a flathead right there. Do believe so. I do believe that's a flat hit. Yeah, that's a flat hit. That is a flat hit. Not a bad one either. Big old wide fish. Woo! Yeah! That's what got him right there. Chicken, 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 chicken.
Couple on the skip jack, couple on the chicken. Oh man, these are one of those weird flavors. Spicy nacho. I thought I just had a regular Dorito there. You gotta watch it, man. They put the stuff out in the front there. Try to slip it to you. size blue cat on the chicken all right people not too bad of a night considering I had to move a couple times and the fact I'm dealing with that dag blasted full moon this is the third chicken for bait video in a row and it's the third video where it's caught fish first video it caught numbers of fish and big fish 30 pound, couple 40 pound fish. They wouldn't touch skipjack that night. Second video, it a flooded dam. I didn't spend a lot of time there because that current was giving me a fit. Still got some numbers of fish and one decent blue. Finally broke my rod holder off the boat. This video, it seemed to produce the most action. I had a lot of bites, a lot of bites that y'all didn't see because I erased them. I didn't want to choke. Uh, camera time basically the bait was too big for the fish if I would have been using smaller baits smaller hooks I probably could have butted 20 blue cat tonight on the chicken the better quality fish tonight came on skipjack especially that flathead now that's one thing that I think you would lose a little bit with the chicken is the possibility of flatheads now since I have made these videos I have had people message me with success stories and some of these people have caught flatheads up to the 30 40 pound range on chicken now by my experience a flathead can be a more picky eater you're gonna be better off with the regular cut bait but either way it's still possible blue cat seemed to love it as far as getting big blue cat on it tonight well maybe there was just none around to find it the ones that did find it seemed to want it. So it must be a legit blue catfish bait. I will continue to use it throughout the season to see how it performs once we get into the colder water and so on. In my mind, skipjack herring, if it was the only bait you could use in the Tennessee River, would be my choice as far as hunting big fish. But we have seen big fish on the chicken. I know of a 75 pounder that came on it, Sandy Cooper Reservoir. There wasn't 15 rods out the back of the boat, and I probably won't do 30 bait videos a month. But I had to do a few just for something new. Hope you all like my catfisherman outfit tonight. Happy Halloween. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.